We've touched on drop shadows briefly in the Creating Impressive Headlines video tutorial. But like with other options, it's not limited to one type of object. You can also apply this to regular text and shapes. So if you want to adjust the shape, just select your shape and go to the Styles heading under the Shapes tab. By clicking on the Drop Shadow button, your options for the shadow will appear. You select the shadow to be more or less, which simply makes your shadow closer or further away from the object. The next thing would be to adjust how intense your shadow should be. Using the blur scroll, you can make the shadow more crisp or blurry. Right above that option, choose the direction of your shadow by clicking and holding on the dial. The shadow of the object will move with your dial movements. Lastly, you can choose a color. The preselected color that the print shop chooses for you is gray but you can select any color using the palettes or even the eyedropper tool.